what is good guys rep kicks here and i'm back at it again and i got something dope for you you guys probably weren't gonna expect me to do this pair you know it wasn't some super crazy crazy hype release and i wasn't really into these that much it wasn't something that i was like oh i have to get but i'm super happy i did i mean in hand this thing is phenomenal they did a great job with these it's really really cool how the sole lights up and then it's got that nice rainbow kind of like oil spill effect on the swoosh and on the back here you can see it does have the rainbow effect now it's kind of hard to get in the camera but in hand you really see that nice rainbow effect see like in here and here in the black swoosh the materials are just absolutely mind-blowing on here and there weren't really too many batches out but boom 1950 which you guys know i say is one of the best of the best there's like three sellers that are up there as my top favorite best sellers and boom 1950 is one of them like i said they pretty much have the number one spot tied with one other seller and they dropped these and i'm so happy that i got a pair from them because look how beautiful it is i mean it's absolutely stunning it's really really cool now that i have them in hand and see how great the materials are i'm super happy that i got them like i said i got them from boom so if you want some good pairs check boom out now let's stop chatting and get right into it it's just a really cool pair now i'm not going to be able to show you how it closed on the bottom my black light broke actually when i was trying it out for these the thing just died so i, have, I ordered another one on amazon but they do glow if you take the black light and if you've seen videos of these and put the black light and flashlight or charge these up they do glow exactly like retail so that is really cool about these anything that the retails do the reps do like the mummy dunks any other retail shoe that glows and then i've gotten the reps they always glow just like retail and these do as well but one of my favorite parts is you could see it's kind of hard to get in the camera like i said in the beginning but the swoosh has like this really cool rainbow effect to it now in hand you could see it 10 times more and better but this is the best that i can get in the camera but it's this kind of like sleek black material and then when you turn it or put it in a certain light you could see it kind of has like this oil spill rainbow kind of effect to it which is really cool and the same material is the back here on the top around the back of the ankle that also also has that rainbow look into it now I'm not getting the best of it in the camera but you could kind of see a little bit of it and then when you guys get these in hand you'll be able to see the rainbow effect as well so you could see it on this swoosh too which is really cool I'll give you a close-up it's this really nice sleek black leather I don't even know patent leather maybe the same material under here as well shape of the swoosh is really good the placement is perfect the overall shape I mean look how perfect that shape is and the toe box as well that is one of the best toe box shapes I've got on a Jordan 1 in a long time. I mean, look how perfect it is. Not boxy, slim. You can see the little lip right here on the front. Looks really, really good. And the sole is sturdy. Now, on a lot of Jordan 1 reps, it tends to be a little softer than retail. This is a tiny bit softer, but it doesn't affect the longevity of them. They don't rip. They last just as long as retail, but I can't bend this, so that's a good thing. Usually, on the really soft ones or the bad ones, you could bend the toe in half, so that's a plus, so I can't bend that toe in half. You have this beautiful, nice red leather on the toe here. So it's this nice premium, high quality leather. You could just see from me rubbing it and pushing on the toe box. It is real leather on there, not synthetic. Then it comes to like this suede material, this nice red suede, which is really high quality and nice and soft as well. I don't know what type of material this is, but it's kind of got like that blackish kind of blend to it, which I don't really know how to explain it, but you got that piece there. And then this is this nice patent leather. So it's a shiny patent leather red. You got the suede on the back here, and then the same material that's on here is on the back of the ankle here. Here, and it comes around to this side on here it's got like these circles see these those cool circles on there the red the, with a little bit of yellow and blue it's also on the lace hole panel which is pretty cool and then if you come up to the wings logo this one's got these little polka dots kind of like pinkish reddish polka dots which is like a light red kind of like pinkish thing and look how cool that wings logo is it's got that same effect as those little circles there which is really really cool the placement is perfect on it all the leather cuts and stitchings are really clean look at that look at how perfect stitching that is you can't get any better. The stitching is absolutely incredible. Look at that corner stitch too. The corner stitch is perfect. No corner stitch flaw at all. You have this really high quality premium white leather here. So I'll give you a close up of that. And look at that midsole. Like I said, this does glow. So you'll be able to see it glow when you charge it up. But look at the details in the midsole. 
even down to the smallest little detail, it's absolutely perfect. The paint line's nice and clean. You have that nice tight white stitch going through the midsole, no glue stains. The double stitch that comes around here is perfectly straight and clean. So that is the outside. I'll show you the outside of this one. It's the same thing. I'll show you the material around the back here. I'll give you a close up of all of it. There's the Wings logo. I like that cool yellow with the red. Looks really dope. And then you got the double stitch there, the corner stitch, the perfect swoosh. There's that like rainbow effect to it. Comes up to the lace holes, the patent leather on there, the suede, and look at that perfect toe box again. Midsole's nice and clean. And around here, I didn't show you on this one, but when it comes to up here, it's got that red stitching. So it's kind of cool. You don't just have the white stitching or black stitching. It's got the red stitching around there. Overall shape is perfect. You can see if you press on it, it's not too hard. Look at that perfect mold on the bottom. Like I said, this does glow. I wish I could show you, but I really don't have the black light anymore. It broke when I was trying it, like I said before. Nike logo looks good. It's a perfect Jordan 1 mold. Come up to the stars and you can see the stars on the front. So that's the outsides. The insides are pretty much the same, but it doesn't have the Wings logo. So there's the outside and then there's the inside. So this right here is reverse. So you have more of that reddish kind of material with that like smoke effect on the top and the patent leather on the bottom. Toe box is the same red leather, but instead of having the suede there, you got an all red leather there. On the back here, instead of having the suede on the bottom, it's the same red leather that's around the toe. And that red material with the black kind of smoky kind of blend to it. it goes around the back just like the other side the swoosh has got that same effect on this side corner stitch looks good all the stitching and the midsole look great so that's the inside of that one and then i don't want to keep dragging out so i'll just show you this real quick i'll give you a nice close-up so you can see all the details in there the quality of the material is exactly like retail i'm telling you you wouldn't be able to tell the difference at all midsole toe box shape so that's really really cool now one thing i noticed on the reps that were different than the retail is the tongue has a little bit more of a peachiness color to it not much but it does have a little bit more of a peachy color to it every single batch of these that i've seen out have a little bit more of a whitish kind of yellow tongue with the slightest peach but it should be maybe a tiny bit more peachy but other than that it's just a regular jordan one tongue so just like with the whitish kind of sailish color to it so just plain jordan one tongue on there you have the nike air logo up on there that cool red tag with the white nike air and then you can see it's got white on the bottom so it's pretty much all red with a little bit of white on the bottom the stitching's nice and clean and the whole rim around the tongue is just that white edging and then the same thing on this one both the toe boxes this is them nice and even with each other when i posted these on reddit people said it was the best batch they've seen and the best toe box and overall shape on a jordan one that they've seen in a long time so that looks really good so there's the toe boxes you can see that glow in the dark sole comes around the front here with a nice clean stitch you can see the stars and both the toe boxes from this view nice and even with each other you have the nice soft white leather on there premium white leather and the stitching that goes around the toe stays really nice and clean i want to show you the back like i said you could see it better in hand but it does have that kind of like rainbow effect to it you have that red leather with that black smoke kind of blend effect to it stitching that goes around here is really really good they're nice and even with each other the tabs are white leather it's dead center in the middle and you can see both those swooshes come in red stitching along the top there heels are nice and even nice clean midsole you can see the details in there so from the backs they look absolutely perfect all black sock liner so you can see it's got an all black sock liner it does have the padding and cushioning to it so you can see it's just pretty much a normal regular Jordan 1 sock liner. The insole is just all black and then it's got the red Nike Air logo on the heel. So nothing special about the insole, no Spider-Man logo, nothing like that, which I thought they would have done. There is the tag. Now you go true to size with these. So just go true to size. They fit perfect like that. They just fit like normal Jordan 1. So you know how Jordan 1s fit a tiny, tiny bit big, but if I go down half a size, it's a little small for me. So I just rather go true to size. All white back of the tongue. So nothing special there. No tag on the back of the tongue. And then this one is the same thing 
black sock liner, all black insole with the red Nike Air on the heel. The tag is over there, back of the tongue, no tag. And then it comes laced up with these black laces right out the box. Now, I don't think it came with any extra laces, but I'll check, but it had that black lace right there, which it came laced up with. Just regular black laces, and you know, not rope laces, just flat laces. So we'll check if it came with any extra laces. So it came in a regular Jordan 1 box, nothing special, just the regular black Jordan 1 box. There is the tag, and then if we look on the inside, it didn't come with any extra laces. So just the paper, the little card, you have the green sticker on the side there, which pretty much almost every rep that I've seen comes with. So there you have it, guys. The Spider-Man Jordan 1s from Boom. Killer. I posted these on Reddit, and I showed people on Reddit, and they were super happy that I posted it because they said they haven't found a good batch, but as soon as I posted these, that it was the best one they have seen and a lot of people jumped on them so if you want a good pair of these jump on it boom 1950 has it they don't come out with a first batch that isn't correct like a lot of other batches and sellers and then a couple months later it gets updated and even better they wait till it's the best that it could be and they sell the right one the first time so check boom out these are the spider-man jordan ones appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned for more peace